Yeah, I feel a little bit better out there. Let's start with the tropics because Bermuda, obviously, they're going to take it on the chin tonight. They're going to get a good one. Cat two, uh, right now, 100 mile per hour winds. There's some shear on it out of the west, but it's not really reducing the strength of this at all because it's a bigger system. So 95 mile per hour winds or so, that would be some of the highest winds that they get, but generally 70s and 80s. And you can already see the video that they've already got the waves there. The system itself is just about 100 miles now from Bermuda. Bermuda is right there where the M is. And you can see it's actually looking fairly decent here. Uh, after the next 24 hours, after it moves by, because this will be tonight and early tomorrow morning for Bermuda, it will re-strengthen even a little bit more. So here's the latest forecast as of 5 o'clock. 100 mile per hour winds around 90 overnight tonight as it moves on shore real close to Bermuda and then tomorrow afternoon around 85 mile per hour winds. Then you'll see it move further off to the north, but basically keep those winds right around 80 miles per hour. So but it's much cooler water, of course, and it's moving out over the North Atlantic at that point. Here's the deal. These are all of the waves. That light blue is the swell generated from this storm. And so obviously you can see the larger swells are right out here. And again, I told you at the top of the show, about 36 feet from a sail drone that's out there in that northwest quadrant right now. That's big. Uh, this swell will last through the weekend. So even if you're headed over towards the east coast, now South Florida, not as much you are blocked by the Bahamas, but certainly Central Florida all the way up, even through New York, Long Island is going to get some decent surf uh, this weekend. It goes all the way through Sunday at five o'clock. After that, we see it really tend to fall apart, especially across the southeast and the mid-Atlantic states. Now, once this is done, looking elsewhere, no development is expected the next seven days. And we're right in the thick of it now, right here in the middle of August and September. And this, the peak is coming up here September 10th. So it, you can't, I don't want to say it's quiet because we have a cat two on the map. But other than that, not a whole lot of development showing up on the forecast models through the end of the month.